What's going on you guys? Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. And in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about hats. Hats are arguably one of the more popular fashion accessory items in our world today. They come in all different shapes and sizes for all different types of people, and they can actually be a huge part of culture for different people groups around the world. So with an item of this much popularity and usefulness, why are we not focusing more on these when it comes to reselling? I personally resell a lot of hats and I absolutely love them. They're easy to find, super cheap at thrift stores in my area, and they're also really easy to photograph, list, and ship. So in today's video, I wanna take you guys step by step and show you exactly how I photograph, list, and ship my hats. Coming up. So first up is the photography, and I'll just show you guys right here. This is my photo setup. I have these Mount Dog uh, softbox lights, and I have two of them right here. And this background is, I don't want to get into it too much. It's basically a piece of like fake wood that you get at Lowe's. It's really, really thin. Uh, and I just have two pieces set up to make like a, a just a background here, and I've lined them up. So it kind of looks good. Um, so with hats, what I usually do is I keep the form. So let's start with this hat. This is a ping golf hat. I got it at the Goodwill bins the other day. It was dirty. It looked like I had a huge, like, I don't know, just something right here, but it was like crumbling off. So I took it home and washed it. Uh, and it looks, I mean, very good, very, very good. Like basically brand new. So this hat, since it's kind of like firm, you know, it's, it's going to sit up nice and steady, but with other hats that are a little bit softer, they're kind of going to, they're going to fall down when you try to list them. So I have this ball, this fancy paper ball here that I will put in, you know, let me set you up here. So I'll take the paper ball and I'll put it inside the hat like this. The ball, it literally is just a ball of paper that I made to fill in hats. And so when you put it in the hat like that, it just helps hats keep their form a little bit, you know? Let me, I'm gonna go to a floppier hat so you can see a better example. Okay, so this hat, you can see is much floppier. It's gonna just lay flat like that, which is ugly. So if you take the paper ball and you put it inside the hat, you see it just, it's a little lumpy, but for the picture, it's gonna look a lot better. It, I mean, it looks like it would look on a head. Some people use like mannequin heads, but I think they are creepy, so I'll just use this. It was free, and uh, it works like a charm. Okay, so back to this one. I'm putting the ball back in inside like this. And uh, again, you can kind of mold it a little bit to make it look like you want, but it should look, should look pretty good. This is just a really good looking hat to begin with, so the ball doesn't help much, but it still looks pretty good. Now let's get into the photos. When it comes to taking photos of the hat, uh, I'm going to take six photos of the outside of the hat, and then we're going to take two photos of the inside of the hat. And I'll explain that here. So I'm going to take pictures directly in my phone. I don't take pictures through eBay. So you're going to go, make sure you're in square mode. On iPhone, it's called square mode. On Android, it's your ratio. Just make sure your ratio gives you a square picture. So the first picture is obviously just going to be like a front on of the hat. Second picture, I'm going to turn the hat slightly uh, in one direction and take a picture like at an angle. Next one's gonna be directly from the side. Next one's gonna be directly from behind. This picture is really important because it's gonna show your buyers how the hat is adjusted. This hat in particular is fitted, meaning it's just like, you know, there's no adjustment, it's just stretchy. Um, but some hats are snapback, some are have like that belt adjustment, some have Velcro, so the picture of the back of the hat is really important. Then we're going to take another picture of the opposite side. And we're going to take the final picture of the hat at the angle here. There we go. And then for the two pictures on the inside, I'm just going to lay the hat open like that. And take a picture. And this is just going to show that there's no staining on this inside sweatband. Uh, at least no visible staining because it's black. But if you're selling used hats where this part is white, it's more than likely going to be discolored. So this picture just gives your buyer a, a, a picture of the inside, you know. And then the second picture and the last picture we're going to put in our listing is this is the tag that shows the logo and the size. Now that's generally what I do with um, hat pictures. If the hat has any crazy logos or if the logo is like on the side of the hat, um, I might take a, another picture just of that. But generally, you're going to take at least eight pictures per hat and, and more depending on the style of the hat. And it's super hot out here, so I'm going to go inside and we're going to list the hat. So I'm going to start by just going to eBay and searching, and we're going to just search for this hat on eBay. So I'm going to type red ping ping golf hat men's fitted. 
and just see what see what comes up here. Um, so nothing at first. So I don't see one that's exactly like. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new listing. Selling list. So we're going to call it just what we said. Red. Actually, I'm going to start with men's men's and I'm going to capitalize ping because that's how the logo is capitalized. I mean, it's just capital ping. So men's ping golf, not golf at all. Is that golf hat? I can't type men's ping golf hat, red fitted size, large slat. I'm going to do size L XL. Uh, black logo and then I look for any kind of keyword in the hat like it says flex fit here um, I think that's the only thing I see so I'll add flex fit to logo flex fit uh, then we're gonna do I'm probably gonna do this in golf the, the golf clothing category because this is specifically a golf branded hat Golf hats and visors, pre-owned. We're gonna add pictures, go to your gallery and it's gonna have pictures that we just took. I took a lot of pictures here, let me. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Upload. So then check our title again, men's pink golf hat, red fitted, size large, extra large, black logo flex fit. I think that's a great title, a lot of keywords. Um, I've got some characters left, so I might say, I don't know. I can't really think of any more keywords for this, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I usually try to maximize my, my title by using all the available characters, but I think that's enough keywords for this listing. Condition pre-owned, brand ping, UPC does not apply. More details, color red, style. We're gonna say, um, even though this is technically a golf hat, this style of hat is gonna be a baseball hat. Um, so I'm gonna say baseball cap. I might add that to the title. Let's go add ping golf base, uh, baseball cap. Yeah, cap hat, because a lot of people, I guess depending on where you're from, some people say cap and some people say hat. So selling something like this, you should put hat and cap in your listing. Uh, so details, extra large men, custom skew, don't need that. Details, uh, always defaults to this thing. So conditions pre-owned. So I'm gonna leave that and just drop down and say, very good used condition. Minimal. Minimal signs of wear. Please see photos for details and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Then on the price, I'm gonna list this one at like $14, turning on best offer, and I'm going to charge the buyer shipping. Uh, it's listed at four ounces. This hat is probably closer to seven ounces. So we're gonna change that weight just to make sure the shipping price is gonna be accurate. So that way the buyer's gonna pay in between $4.39 and $4.81 for shipping, which seems about accurate. And then make sure everything else is good to go and list your item. So a lot of people don't like messing with hats because they don't see a large return. I mean, we're listing that hat for like 14 bucks plus shipping. So it's not a lot of money, but I got this hat at the Goodwill Bins, so I paid probably 10 cents for it. Even when I get hats at the regular Goodwill stores, if you they, they have sales every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, where all hats are only 50 cents. And the regular price on hats Monday through Friday is only a dollar. So if you can find some decent hats like this for a dollar or 50 cents and sell them for 14 or 15, I mean, it's just a really good profit margin. So again, you're not making a ton of money per hat, but when you think about how easy it is to find them, how cheap they are, how easy it is to photograph and list them, you know, there's no measurements or anything like that. It just makes it more worth your while, in my opinion. So now let's get into how I would ship this hat once it sells. So I just realized I ran out of my normal hat boxes today, but this is one of my packages going out today. This is a hat, and this is the box that I ship most of my hats in. It's an eight by six by four box that I got from eBay. 
Uh, if you have a basic eBay store, you get a coupon for like $25 in free shipping supplies every quarter, and you can get two boxes of these. I think there's like 50 in each box, maybe? Or I think 50 in each box. So you'd get 100, 100 boxes, and it's like $30. So you use your $25 uh, coupon, and you end up paying like five or six bucks after shipping for 100 of these. I use them all the time, specifically for like first class items. Items over a pound, you can use the shoe boxes and cut them down and make whatever box you want. But shipping stuff first class is more difficult for me because I can't use the free boxes that I get from the post office. You have to find these either eBay branded or just non-US post office branded boxes. So these are a really good size, eight by six by four. This is what I get every time my coupon for my free uh, shipping supplies renews. And I would highly recommend them. They're, they're great for first class items like hats. So what I would do with this hat, because it's a little bit nicer, um, I would probably go ahead and put it in a clear poly bag just to kind of protect it a little bit in case, you know, the box gets rained on or something like that. You don't want it, the water to leak and then get on the hat. Um, this, this poly bag is, uh, I think an 11 by 13 maybe, uh, or 10 by, I don't know, something, something like that. Uh, and you just peel it off and close it. Looks like that. And then you basically just put it in this box. Easy peasy. So I don't always put hats in these clear poly bags. It's just, you know, if, if I feel like the hat's really nice and I feel like it's going to a wet place, maybe, you know, like if there's a hurricane coming and you're shipping a hat to Florida, uh, maybe you'd want to put it in a poly bag. I don't do that all the time, but you know, just use your judgment. So once the hat is in the poly bag, you literally just throw it in the box and you're good to go. I've never had like a baseball style hat like this not fit in one of these boxes. Sometimes you have to like fold it down, you know, and put it down. Just make sure when you're putting the hat in the box, you don't mess up the brim because this is going to be, you know, the, the one part of the hat that the buyer's going to want to adjust and get how they like it. So if it's all crumbled up and, and bent out of shape inside the box, it's not going to be a good purchase for them. So there you have it, guys. That's how I photograph, list, and ship my hats. Again, you're not making a ton of money on hats generally. I think the most expensive hat I've ever sold was like 40 bucks, but I paid like a dollar for it at a yard sale. So don't overlook hats. If you're in that mindset where you just don't feel like something is worth it if you're not making 20 to 25 bucks, you have to think about the whole process, how easy it will be to photograph, list, and ship that item. If you're dealing with like coffee mugs or something like that that's gonna require a lot of time and energy into shipping them to make sure they don't break, then yeah, that would be an item that I wouldn't wanna pay a dollar for to sell for 15, because that wouldn't be worth my time. But with hats, they're not gonna break in shipment, they're easy to pack, easy to list, easy to ship, like I've been saying the whole video, and it's just an item that, that I really like to source and that sells really well for me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about sourcing hats or what kind of brands to look for, anything like that, drop some comments down below. I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. I'm not a hat expert, but again, I do source them a lot whenever I can find good ones. And I, I think I'm generally knowledgeable about the subject. So drop comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you again for watching. You're the best. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Wow. Wow. Thank you.